fog comes down, you can't land, you can't go around because of the cliff at the other end, the 7,000 7, metre mountains around the airport, or Satazar for you Nepali that uh, want to know the metres of the airport. Um, it's a height of 2,800 metres, Lukla. Anyway, so, the, so if there's fog, they can't land, so they don't actually leave Kathmandu until the fog's clear. Uh, um, but it was actually quite warm that trip, unlike January when we were doing a photo shoot playing tennis at Mount Everest in 6,200 metres on Island Peak. I've got one photo for you. <laughs> if you have a look at that one, you might be distracted by the large uh, load that's being carried there. But if you look a little bit closer, it looks for me, when I found this one again in my files, I thought, my goodness, that could be India. It's very, very similar to India, the Terai. And so I say to you, if anybody here wants to go to India, don't go. <laughs> go to Nepal and go to the Terai. Because it's very similar, but it's even better because it's Nepal. So you can kill two birds with one stone. Go there and then go to another part of Nepal. So let's have a little look at the hilly region now. So this was me going on my uh, ventures with the United Nations. And a lot of the roads in the Terai eventually uh, moved their way up into the hilly region. But eventually those roads slowly, as we get into further and further into the hills, slowly turn into road roads that are fairly challenging for most vehicles uh, to navigate and eventually we end up needing to go on foot. So for many, many days I would find myself wandering around in, in these no-go zones for tourists with my Nepalese uh, uh, colleagues. <laughs> Go there, enjoy it, experience it, and have 
have fun. It is being our annual event and we have been organizing the same in the last few years. We organized this annual event together with our consulate office here in Melbourne and Embassy in Canberra. It is the initiative of government of Nepal under the slogan of economic diplomacy. This event is mainly targeted to our travel agents based in Victoria simply because you are the one who can sell Nepalese tourism in Australian market. We have more than 50 travelers here today that are participating in this program, which is very encouraging. We do appreciate your presence here and we would encourage to promote Nepal as one of the choice in your travel destination list and promote us in Australian market. Nepal is not only for mountain area, which are Australian and New Zealand travels thing. There are many other tourist attractions in Nepal, a very rich culture, its unique history, glimpse of the world's highest peak to the birthplace of Lord Buddha, which serenity of picture, the video that you saw today, was just a glimpse into the full range of activities and experience that Nepal can offer. Last year alone, ne Nepal welcomed 18,000 plus Australian visitors, which is a significant number increase than previous uh, record. And we would like to see if this increasing this number in coming days and your role in this vision is extremely important. So the lucky winner is Sue Dobler, a travel consultant, yeah. Metro Travel Services.